Welcome. <laughs> The Jack in the Box was released in 2019 in the UK and in 2020 in Canada and was directed by Lawrence Fowler and it's about a Jack in the Box that's a demon. Yeah, I, th I th this movie is garbage. It's really bad. It's on Amazon Prime. Don't watch it. It so many things are bad with it. It just hurt watching the movie and it didn't help that I was watching it on like four hours of sleep because oh my god is this movie boring it's like 90% of the movie 95% of the movie is just talking and just useless conversation and like really weird flirting kind of things happening and then 5% of actual horror which the horror <sighs> the horror is pretty bad but the makeup design of our monster, our demon within the Jack in the Box. Oh my god, it's fantastic makeup design. I mean, I was very impressed and I was afraid it was gonna be one of those things where it was like, if when you see too much, then it looks fake. They showed a lot of this monster when they did, like they would show like weird, like kind of not revolving shots, but like they would show you like close up to his face and the makeup looks fantastic on him. I couldn't complain about that. That's, that, I have it written down. That is the one pro that I have with this movie. Other than that, oh boy. Let's start with the acting. Garbage. Let's go with the CGI effects. Horrendous. Let's go to the actual script. Stupid. I mean, just every level of incompetence that there could possibly be, there is. I mean, I'm shocked that the makeup design of this monster is as good as it is, showing how bad the rest of the movie is. And I looked it up, and apparently a lot of people on Google gave it five stars, which, no. First off, no. Let me just get that out of the way. First off, no. Second off, no. Third off, the reason they're saying is like, oh, it's low budget, which I could point you in the direction of so many low budget movies that are way better. First off, let's look at Halloween. Oh my God, Halloween was made on a budget of $300,000. And I, I know with inflation, stuff like that, it it's more money now, but still $300,000. And that is one of the greatest horror movies of all time. That's about it. That's uh, the only low budget I... <laughs> I was just joking, but other low budgets. I mean, Splinter. Very good movie. Low budget. I mean, I could point you in the direction of so many other movies with a low budget. I mean, <laughs> I was gonna say Friday the 13th, but... I I mean, Friday the 13th. I would rather watch Friday the 13th than watch the Jack in the Box. Because at least Friday the 13th... What does Friday the 13th have? That's That's a very good question. What does Friday the 13th have? It has Alice, and she's not bad. That's it, yeah, that's all Friday the 13th has. So maybe I would prefer watching the Jack in the Box instead. I hope you know that I was kidding with all that. Of freaking course, I would rather watch Friday the 13th than random ass movie The Jack in the Box. I mean, there really isn't that much left to say, I mean... Our main protagonist, Casey, sucks. Um, he has a weird backstory where... Okay, I'm gonna give you this spoiler because it's really stupid, this entire side plot. And they try to make us feel bad, but I didn't feel bad one bit. So basically, his girlfriend was... Okay, this is gonna sound bad now. So his girlfriend was murdered, and for that I feel bad. Oh, sorry, his fiance. His fiance was murdered. But... The reason I don't feel bad is because she calls him as she's being followed by someone and she's like, oh, he has a knife, like all this stuff, but he doesn't answer the phone. And you know, if he was sleeping and didn't hear the call, that's different. He saw that she was calling him and decided not to answer. And this happens, she dies. But the most messed up part about it is as soon as the voicemail comes in, he listens to the voicemail. 
it wasn't like he put the phone down, you know, you made some Cheerios, you know, watched a flash forward reviews video. No. As soon as the voicemail came in, he listened to it. And they, ma they make us want to feel bad for him, but I don't feel bad. You should have answered the phone. Like, they didn't even say like, oh, they were in an argument, so he didn't answer. No, he was just being a douche canoe and didn't answer the phone. And his fiance died and now they're like, oh, feel bad for him. No, I don't feel bad for you. You're a freaking piece of crap. On that note, I'm going to give this movie a 1 out of 10. And do not waste your time watching this movie. Watch something else instead. Watch Splinter. Splinter is a lot of fun. Halloween. Friday the 13th. Watch something else. I mean, watch Troll 2. Don't watch this movie. Don't support it. It's stupid. It's bad. I don't know if Lawrence Fowler is a cool guy. I'm sorry if you are a cool guy. I'm saying don't watch your shitty movie, but don't watch this movie. Avoid it. Watch something else. Watch Lake Mungo. I mean, there's so many other options of low-budget horror that you could watch that are way better and way more entertaining than this boring piece of bullshit. So thank you everyone for watching, and I'm sorry you had to listen to that whole rant. I got a little annoyed, and that was a lot of pent-up anger. And I'm sorry if I put that on you guys. I did not mean to do that. But don't watch this movie still. Leave some comments down below of some other movies you would like me to watch. But let's flash forward to the next reveal.